The Presbyterian Church USA, with 1.1 million adherents in the United States, will hold a major denominational assembly in July 2024. This mainline denomination will consider proposals to change its book of order. If approved, gender identity and sexual orientation would be added to the list of protected characteristics, which are required to be embraced by all elders and deacons. The sentence immediately following the changed list in this church legislation says, quote, There is therefore no place in the life of the church for discrimination against any person. The Presbyterian Church USA shall guarantee full participation and representation in its worship, governance, and emerging life to all persons or groups within its membership. No member shall be denied participation or representation for any reason other than those stated in this constitution. As other writers have commented, this would require all PCUSA elders and deacons to submit to the amended version of F1.0403's tacit endorsement of homosexuality and transgenderism. This change to the Book of Order would not only allow PCA church officers to disobey scripture by living homosexual or transgender lifestyles, it would require officers to be unfaithful to scripture by forcing them to commit to allowing ordination of individuals living in sin and unqualified for ordination." Unquote. So you see, what began as an attempt to include an unbiblical practice is now poised to become the decisive value. The San Jose, Newcastle, and Mission Presbytery's support for this church legislation is in this following paragraph, they signed that they wrote this. While we affirm and value the freedom of local councils to examine candidates for ordination, we also recognize that such freedom exists within historical limits and that the so-called local option should not be construed to allow for discriminatory practices in one corner of the church, which necessarily infringes on the inclusive witness of the whole church." Unquote. So succinctly put, if this measure is passed, the convictions of those who disagree with same-sex sin practices that the denomination has voted to accept will now be trampled. It will be impossible to serve as a deacon or elder while following the Bible teaching about sexual purity and sin. This is the premeditated removal of the conscience clause. Sadly, quote, conformity to worldly customs converts the church to the world. It never converts the world to Christ familiarity with sin will inevitably cause it to appear less repulsive. The item here that I uh, took off of the Presbyterian Church USA uh, website here, this is their mission agency on sexuality and same gender relationship. And this is from some things they affirmed in 2018. Here's Overture 11-13. Apologizes for the church's previous unwelcoming stance on LGBTQ parishioners, celebrates LGBTQ church pioneers, and states the church will welcome, lift up, and fight for the human rights of all people created in the eyes of God. And so it goes. Now, they say here this stuff isn't required. Now, this is 2018, but now it's 2024, and you can see it's going to be required. Now, here's the interesting line here, a few paragraphs down. Nothing herein shall compel a teaching elder to perform nor compel a session to authorize the use of church property for a marriage service that the teaching elder or the session believes is contrary to the teaching elders or the session's discernment of the Holy Spirit and their understanding of the Word of God. So back then they allowed a conscience clause. We, you know, you can do it if they allow it, but if you weren't led to go in that way and do it, you were absolutely within your rights not to. And what we find here is that this conscience clause is effectively being countermanded, it's being changed so that now you will not be able to even have that position and serve as a deacon or an elder. So these are grim times for people in the Presbyterian Church uh, because again, the, the Bible truth about sin and about sex, the Bible truth about how God designed us is being uh, thrown away for political correctness. So by the way, if you're a LGBT person yourself or whatever you regard yourself as non-binary, just want you to know that 
none of this comes with an animus toward that. It's just simply that, that uh, God is the creator, we believe. The Bible states that he's the creator. He designed us male and female, not in a fluid uh, type format. And so although the modern times around us tell us that we can sort of, by our language, we can re recreate the world in our own image, the Bible tells us that God created the world in the image that he intended it to be. And so we as Christians simply want to adhere to that. So it's not that Christians are like automatically hateful to people who practice same, same sex, um, the Bible would call it sin, but uh, we, we love you and we want you not to have this confusion. We want you to be within that space that God made for good things. And so please don't construe any of this as a personal attack on you or a fear of same sex or transgender thing. It's just that it's not in the Bible. It's not the way God made the world. You are living contrary to the very principles of creation itself. So that's a pretty grim situation to be in, to be basically at war with the reality that God has created. So we pray that those that have this misunderstanding will find their way closer to the created order that God has made. No, no animus against you. Of course, this is a church also that practices the ordination of women, again, contrary to the Bible. And so, yeah, we, these are things that flow out from that very same space. So we wish well to our Presbyterian friends and want that they'll come close to Jesus and the Word of God. Hey, you might want to subscribe to this newsletter. We come out every six to eight weeks with new items, items that are very important but not commonly addressed in the news cycle. We hope you'll be blessed by keeping up with these things that are happening in this our day and learn how to stay true to the Bible. God bless you.